the sight hounds are something that I've been into like the last four or five years and trying to get to the point where I can go out without a gun, just use the dog as a team to accomplish the goal of, of getting a coyote. My name is Seth Simpson. I raise and train dogs for a living. The decoy dogging that we do has been around for quite a while, developed by government hunters here in the U.S. and a lot of people do it you know, just recreationally. People that simply call coyotes for fun have really caught on to that and it's become a lot more popular. I feel like just using the dogs is a lot more challenging. It's a much lower success rate, but there's almost double the excitement. There's such a challenge to the stag hound to catch the coyote that it gives us a whole other dynamic to what we're already doing with the dogs. You know, to be honest, many times I'm rooting for the coyote as much as I'm rooting for my dogs. It's very fun to, to watch them win sometimes and beat us and give ourselves that challenge to kind of overcome. We went out and did three stands a day, and one stand we didn't see any coyotes, and two stands we did. If we were shooting, it's very likely we would have killed four coyotes. Uh, I shoot a, an AR, uh, my follow-up shots are very fast, and I can shoot them on the run. So when I get two coyotes down in front of me on an open hillside or an open field, I can eight times out of 10 shoot both those coyotes with a couple of shots. With the dog that you saw in the, the stand out in the desert, we didn't even get to cut the dog loose because the cows were just too far. The dog couldn't make it across that draw up the other side without the cows taking off way ahead of him and him never even remotely catching up. And in the second stand where the cows did read the script, come in perfect. I kind of let the dog go and the cows had their back turned. They didn't notice he was there until he was there. He had that one initial burst where he had a chance of catching her. And then on that straightaway, he would have needed another 100 yards or more to close that gap again they're so much faster on the maneuver that they can nine times out of ten get away from the dogs in those scenarios. And with that, I just think it's obvious that the uh, odds are much more in the coyote's favor with the dogs. With the gun, there's always a chance of making a bad shot and losing the coyote, whether you have a dog there or not. With the dogs, if they get caught, they're killed within under a minute, I would say versus with a, a gun, if the shot isn't made well, you know, who knows how long it's going to take for that coyote to die. So with the, with the dog, it's either a, a fast death or it escapes without injury. So it definitely gives an advantage to the coyote. At this point, I've, I've hunted coyotes with guns for quite a long time, but I'm really enjoying trying to up the level a little bit, make it uh, almost as difficult as possible, but the most excitement and high reward that you can get, I feel like, for what we do.